I wasted so much time. You are here to solve problems. So until you find that problem you are here to solve, you're not yet living. If you follow the gifts and the path that God has designed for you, trust me, navigating life would be so much easier. Ensure that you prioritize having quality people around you. Show yourself out to the world. Nobody is going to do it for you. Hi. <laughs> You're welcome to another episode of me. But today, we are going to be going in a different direction. And it's because I'll be clocking a year older. Most likely when this video is out. Just know that. <laughs> I'm already a year older. How time flies. Reflecting back, I looked at primary school, secondary school, down to the university, with a lot of goals and... Um, aspirations that I had <sighs> and our life and the universe has brought some things and took away some things I had to sit and reflect that what exactly is life or what exactly is the reason why we are here in this world to strive for things and to achieve things <laughs> this video is just to advise anybody or not necessarily advice if i was to talk to myself or to my 20 year old me or my 15 year old me this is the what i'll be telling myself and the first thing i would say is that follow your dreams right don't get swayed away maybe most likely, <laughs> what you planned <laughs> to read in school. <laughs> like if you are in Nigeria, you understand. Sometimes you write jam severally and jam keep on, you know, you don't get that particular course. And you ended up doing something different. I would still like you to know that still in it, don't give up on that particular. There is something that... I usually say that oh, I wish God can tell us that this is your path. This is the gift I've given you. Life would have been so much easier. Aside you following the path or the traditional path, ensure that you have this good <laughs> relationship with God where you tell God that God reveal to me what exactly is the reason why I am in this world. Because if you follow the gifts and the path that God as designed for you, trust me, navigating life would be so much easier. Reflecting now, I checked, oh, I did this particular course. I wrote several exams. And most likely now, there are not things that lighten me up. Most likely when I was in school, I was so excited about it. But looking at it now, there are no longer things that lighten me up. And trust me, it took me a while to actually find the gifts God has placed in me. God has giving to me because every one of us we have a reason why god has created us we have a reason why god has said this is the reason why you're coming into this world and the moment you don't find this out you're just going to be marking time and living life and not really living a fulfilling life so if i was to talk to my 20 year old me i would say that find god and find your purpose in this in this world another thing i'm going to say is that work on your mindset the mindset also is also another thing that limits people i'm telling myself that trust me if that i i had this mindset of abundance a mindset that i know that what i want and i walk towards it most likely i would get it or always i would get it especially when it's in the plans of god work on your mindset don't have limiting belief that you can't do this don't ever let money stop you from making any of your moves yes i know that money is very important but first of all write that thing down and say god this is my plan and walk towards it walk towards achieving it don't let the fact that you want to travel abroad the fact that you want to get married or the fact that you know people have different reasons or different things that stops them from moving forward in life 
if you understand what I'm don't ever don't ever allow anything be a reason why you're saying okay when I relocate I will do this right or when I achieve this I will do this right don't ever live life like this is now and now and now alone whatever you can achieve try to put it ensure that there is no but i'm going to achieve this but i can't do that because i'm still maybe you're still in your own country i'm looking forward i'll tell you one good thing is that surround yourself with people that are going or people that have the right mindset right i know this sometimes is it is said several times and people most likely don't really it's most likely over said but i'll tell you that you need the right network of people <laughs> and trust me getting connected to people has opened my eyes to a lot of things with people that's what i call gift of men they can give you what money cannot give you right the connection that they can link you up to is more valuable than money and most likely you would have spent let me say you'll have spent 100 percent most likely because of their connection you might end up spending 50 40 60 percent so ensure that you prioritize having quality people around you another thing i'm going to say is that show yourself out to the world nobody is going to do it for you you know how to do something show yourself how to the world you can you can cook you can sing you can don't feel like you're waiting for that big stage or you expect that somebody's going to lift you from where you are right now and put you somewhere or you have this mindset that oh until i am on this particular stage i can't do this no create that stage you are a creator what said let there be light that declaration is calling forth what has never existed and that's also for you to call forth the opportunities you want call forth the your your dreams call it forth the bible says let your light so shine before men so that they can see the good works and glorify your father who is in heaven that's to you you can feel your light is going to shine inside your room and you're not doing anything you're not working on yourself no personal development nothing it's not going to work so to me because i believe then i had this well i say it's fear not necessarily fear i wanted this perfect stage i wanted this perfect opportunity but nah i wasted so much time in the waiting room what is the gift that god has blessed you what is that ministry god has placed in you because you are the only one <laughs> that's the solution to that particular problem you're here to solve problems take it take it from me take it or take it you are here to solve problems. So until you find that problem you are here to solve, you're not yet living. So I don't want this video to be too lengthy. <laughs> but anytime you see this video, just wish me happy birthday. <laughs> and thank you to all my subscribers and everybody that has been with me on this journey. And I hope you found this video helpful. Please well to check the playlist for other videos that can lighten you up. That can help you discover your path additionally if you like to learn french or you want to buy any other course use the link in the description box below i believe in you so do well to believe in yourself thank you and i'll see you another one bye for now <laughs>